the owner of my, one of the top managers of my favorite radio station in the Lake Winnipesaukee area, as of ever since 98.3 got changed ownership back in 2004. He said that my favorite radio stations without websites serve very microscopic communities where they probably lack, they probably don't have websites because not a lot of people up this way have broadband. Many have dial up or DSL. Um, that just made me like the stations even more. The, and the shoehorn stations means that they were jammed in. That my favorite kind of type of station are the shoehorn stations. The FM stations that have less power than the big city ones, where if they did not, the ones where if they did not exist, you could still continue receiving the distant station broadcasting on either an adjacent or even equal frequency. Stations where you can you could start losing the the high power big city station into the low power lower power shoehorn station. But then as you start driving beyond its range, you start picking up the distant one from the big city again, because the one was so tiny that, that both sides of its broadcast coverage rate diameter range fell within, all within, the entire broadcast of the shoehorn station completely fell within the broadcast area of the massive station. Uh, so you could go drive on the opposite side of the broadcast from where the big station's coming from and still get the big one. But the big, the tiny station won't make it anywhere near the big city, let alone past it. Uh, those are my favorite kind of stations. I, I think of it as shoehorned FM stations as a takeoff or younger relative to how back in the old days video back in the old days um, the lower power small town AM stations used to have to shut off their broadcasts at night and you could start receiving the big stations or clear channels uh, however shoehorn stations always broadcast 24 hours a day Probably back in the old days, even FM stations used to shut off power at night. Many of these shoehorn stations uh, are a lot more recent. You know, they've only been on the air since 1990 or the mid-90s. But I got across the street. But the uh, big city ones have been on the air for eons. I like it when they're like that, but I especially like it when they're when they're radio stations without websites and they have no intention or prospect of ever building a website. Let alone